It's almost unbelievable. Scientists placed cutting edge solar panels out in the desert and left them there for three whole years. No protection, no mercy. Just blistering sun, scorching heat, sandstorms, humidity, UV radiation, and layers upon layers of dust. But why? To find out the truth, which solar technology can really survive and perform in one of the harshest environments on Earth. The results? They shocked everyone. The most efficient panels on paper turned out to be the worst performers in the real world. And an underdog technology emerged as the desert's true champion. If you're thinking about solar energy, or just curious about which tech actually holds up under pressure, this video is for you. Watch till the end, because what we're about to show you could completely reshape how solar farms are built in the future. Quick note before we dive in. If you appreciate real science, hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us keep bringing you truth-based tech stories like this one. It started quietly back in 2022. A team of researchers at Hamad bin Khalifa University in Qatar set up a bold real-world experiment. They weren't testing in a lab. They wanted raw, unfiltered data, how solar panels truly behave in one of the harshest climates known to man. Eight groups of solar panels were carefully installed at a field site in Doha, all from leading Tier 1 manufacturers, names you'd recognize, but none were disclosed to keep things unbiased. Each group represented one of the solar industry's most promising technologies. The first group is Heterojunction Technology, HJT, solar panels, which are famed for their high efficiency and great temperature behavior. The second group involves Topcon solar panels, a rising star, claiming better durability and great bifacial performance while the last group involves perk solar panels, which are considered the reliable old guard used in solar farms around the world. Every setup was equal, six panels per string, south facing, tilted at 22 degrees, mounted 1.1 meters off the ground and connected to inverters with MPPT tracking. Same location, same sunlight, same conditions. The only variable, the tech, and then, they waited. After one year, and then three years, the team collected performance data. They didn't just eyeball it, they conducted detailed lab tests, measuring energy output, degradation rates, and heat-related losses. And here's where things got interesting, or rather, shocking. The HJT panels, expected to dominate, actually recorded the highest degradation rates of all. One model, SHJM1 lost 8.73% of its power over three years. Another, SHJM5, wasn't far behind at 6.5%. This is way above the manufacturer's promised limit of 0.25% per year. That's not just off, it's catastrophic for long-term investments. Now, contrast that with the Topcon M2 panel. After three years under the same brutal sun, its degradation was just 0.14%, almost nothing. Suddenly, the underdog was looking like the real desert warrior. The traditional perk panels? They had mixed results. Some monocrystalline models did all right. But the polycrystalline ones? They suffered early, degrading faster in the first year than both Topcon and even some HJT panels. But here's the twist. Not all Topcon panels were heroes. One variant of Topcon showed severe degradation, nearly matching the poor HJT results. So what gives? According to lead researcher Mulud Kaifambi, it comes down to the details, materials, manufacturing precision, and design decisions. It's not just the technology name, it's how you build it. So while Topcon may be more desert resistant on average, not every Topcon is created equal. In comparing the two, it becomes evident that SHJM5 panels, while not as robust overall, excel in thermal resilience. This significant 4.89% power difference under high temperatures highlights the importance of managing heat in solar technology design and performance. Therefore, 
Understanding these characteristics can guide consumers in making informed decisions. Topcon M2's significant power loss under thermal stress raises questions about its long-term viability in hot climates. In short, while Topcon M2 offers durability, its vulnerability to heat may limit its application in hotter environments, whereas the SHJ M5 superior thermal performance positions it as a more reliable choice for consistent energy output, ultimately enhancing its value in the solar market. As the seasons changed, the performance gap between the technologies became a focal point for energy analysts. During the sweltering heat of summer, bifacial HJT and Topcon panels dominated the charts, showcasing their remarkable efficiency. However, when winter set in, the narrative shifted unexpectedly. In the colder months, PRC panels maintained their ground. As analysts delved deeper into the data, they realized that PRC panels weren't just keeping pace. They were providing a dependable solution throughout all seasons, proving that design and engineering play crucial roles in solar technology performance year-round. So what does all this mean for the future? First, real-world testing is essential. Manufacturer data sheets might tell one story, but the desert tells another. Second, the solar industry is moving fast. The research team in Qatar is already working on next-gen back contact technologies like BC Topcon and BC HJT. These designs eliminate front-side grid lines and promise even higher efficiency with better resilience. With this innovative approach, researchers can predict the longevity and efficiency of solar panels over time, taking into account the unique environmental factors that each location presents. This information is crucial for consumers and businesses alike as it impacts investment decisions and long-term sustainability. Understanding these dynamics ensures that people are equipped with the knowledge to choose the right solar solutions for their specific needs. By assessing degradation patterns, informed choices can be made. Ultimately, this advanced modeling not only maximizes the energy output of solar technology, but also supports a sustainable future, empowering communities worldwide to harness the sun's potential with confidence and foresight. This isn't just a story about solar panels. It's a reminder that technology only wins when it survives reality. So next time you hear bold claims about efficiency or long warranties, ask this, has it faced the desert? If you learned something new today, tap that like button to support real world solar science and subscribe for more deep dives into the technology shaping our energy future. Until next time, stay curious, Stay sustainable and stay solar smart.